Welcome to this RapidRap tutorial. Within the next 12 minutes we will see how you can use RapidRap to view the content of CSV and fixed length files and access the content via SQL. We are already in RapidRap Designer, the integrated development environment of RapidRap. I have already created a new report definition called File Reader in version 1 and now we go to the tab environment and here we see another tab called file structures. This tab is still empty and now we want to create a new CSV file structure. I have already prepared one in the file directory. It's called ISO 4217 structure CSV. We open it in the text editor just to see how it looks like. In the first row we see the names of the columns separated by a semicolon and below are a couple of content rows also separated by a semicolon, countries, currencies and so on. We drag and drop this file to RapidRap and the wizard opens automatically. In the first step we say that this is a CSV file structure. We go to next and here we see a preview of the content of the file. If there are some characters that are not readable we can change the character settings and decimal symbol and so on. We leave it as it is and um, now we apply a description for this structure. More important is the name above. This is the name that will later be used uh, to make calls to this structure. We go to the next screen. Here we see that the semicolon has already been picked up as the, the limiter and we already see the, the preview below as well. Um, but we know that the first row contains the header columns so we check this checkbox and now it already looks much better. In the next screen we can make changes to the alias names and to other settings of the columns. First we want to change the alias name for the first column. We don't want to call it entity but country and the column called alphabetic code we would like to all change as well. We want to say that we want to access this column later on with SQL by using CCY. We apply a small description and just in case the content does not fit into these three characters, we want to see three times the X letter just to see it very quickly that there was something wrong. Below we see already the preview. It looks very nice now and in the next step and the final step we can choose if you want to read the data as it is line by line or if we only want to see the erroneous lines, lines where we have um, wrong data types for example. We close this dialog and now we want to use this new structure and to access the content using SQL. Therefore we go to the scripts tab and we create a new script called ISO 4217 underscore reader for example and um, in the body section we write an SQL statement select star from when we press the hash symbol then we see a list of uh, functions of the API and of the language but we want to select the name of the newly created structure we see in the syntax highlighting that there is something wrong. Um, the file name is missing. The, the parameter file name needs to be filled in and needs to point to a file where we find our data. I have already prepared a content file. I have forgotten the name. One second. It's called content at the end. Okay put it into the clipboard and paste it 
in the designer. So now uh, syntax highlighting shows us that everything is fine now. We can now try out this new structure and execute it and voila in the preview we see now 280 rows of data. We can use this structure as an ordinary database table. We can for example append a WHERE clause, for example where the currency code is Euro. If we double click on the script we can see that there are 33 countries that are using the currency Euro. In the metadata tab we can also see the data types and other information for each columns. In RapidRap we could now export the content of the script to an Excel workbook where we can use the information as part of the logic to implement the test case logic in the test suite. We are finished with CSV file types and want to continue with fixed length files. Here we start the wizard manually and select fixed length on the first step and continue with next. And on the next screen we select the file name where we have a fixed length structure file that I've prepared already. It's the ECB structure file and this is a very small file as we see in the preview below. And um, what we also need here is we have to provide a name for the function call that we are using later on. We call it ECB structure. We provide an optional description. And we continue with next. <coughs> this step is now very different from the CSV wizard. We see a ruler at the top and now we go to the corresponding characters and when we press the left mouse button then we create a column at the corresponding position. We can drag the columns to the left and to the right. Uh, if we click multiple times we create three columns in this case. If we double click on the line again we remove it and now we fix the first column after three characters and now we already finished because our small example only consists of two columns. We go to the next screen. The preview already shows us the result so far but now we want to change the alias names. We want to call the first column CCY again. This is the currency code. We can also provide a default error value just in case the data type is not suitable. We select a second column as well. We call it currency name and we provide an optional description name as well. We also want to increase the size of this column because I'm not sure if there isn't any longer currency name possible as well. Now we go to the last screen and here again we we leave it at the default selection read data. Uh, if we would like to see only the inconsistent data data rows we would select the other option. We close this dialog and now we see also our new fixed length structure. And again we now want to see how it can be used. We go to the scripts tab create a new script. We call it ECB reader in this case. And again in the body section we write a select statement and here we choose the ECB structure that we have just created and we apply the file name of a file that I have already prepared as well. It is called ECB content txt and I copy and paste it into my body window. Here we are. We execute it 
and now we see all the different entries in this uh, fixed length file. Again we also have of course the metadata information like data types and so on. If you find out later on that our structure of information is not valid anymore, we can always go back and change it. We switch to the environment tab again and in the file structures we select for example our CSV structure and we open the context menu and select edit and if we go through the different steps we also see that the changes that we have done previously are still there so we could make any changes that we want to do and they are saved then for later usage. So now we are at the end of this video tutorial. We have seen how to specify CSV and fixed length structures and how to access the content later on via SQL. If you need further information regarding the RapidRap Designer, please have a look at the reference manual that you can reach via the help menu or have a look at further video tutorials on this channel. I hope you have a lot of fun using the RapidRap Designer.